Hello and welcome to Azure Tech Forum. So today in this video, we are going to talk about transport layer security uh, or TLS protocol. We will focus on TLS 1.3, which is the newer version of TLS protocol. Uh, so agenda is what is TLS? Why TLS 1.3? Then we will do a Wireshark demo of uh, packet capture you, uh, of TLS traffic. And finally, we will also try to see how we can decode the encrypted traffic from client side. All right, so why TLS? what is TLS? TLS again is an application layer protocol and it's uh, uh, used uh, for web traffic exchange, right? So anytime you go to your bank site, um, the TLS uh, handshake happen and all the subsequent HTTPS traffic, HTTP or HTTPS traffic is encrypted using TLS. So TLS provides the encryption and confidentiality to the HTTP protocol and HTTP, you know, uh, the whole internet runs today on HTTP. Okay, why TLS 1.3? Uh, TLS 1.2 has some weakness. Uh, the protocol standard was getting old. That means it has certain vulnerabilities and 1.3 actually gives you the, re, uh, uh, the revamp or fixes the required uh, vulnerability in 1.2. Generally, I do my own write-up, but uh, today we will rely on a blog, Cloudflare blog, and I found this blog really useful. So let's go and see uh, what is TLS and why, wh what is new in TLS 1.3. Right. So this is a nicely written blog by Cloudflare uh, focuses on TLS 1.3 and uh, help you understand what is different new in uh, TLS 1.3, why it is uh, superior than 1.2. 1 Again, TLS, uh, is a IETF standard protocol mentioned in RFC 8446. So if you are interested, you can go and read the RFC. For uh, uh, an, anyone new to um, SSL, um, here's the timeline. So it was developed by Netscape, Net, Netscape during 1995 and then handed over to the IETF body uh, where they named it TLS and TLS 1 was uh, introduced in 2000. Then we had TLS 1.1 in 2006 and TLS 1.2 in 2008. Pretty much today, TLS 1.2 is in use. It's not that it's been obsolete. And in 2018, finally, TLS 1.3 has been introduced and a lot of browsers and servers are catching up with TLS 1.3. So you will see the mix of TLS 1.2 and 1.3 in use in um, within web. All right. So uh, let's see what are the vulnerabilities uh, where in TLS 1.3 it is slow, it has a weak cipher, it has uh, old cipher supports, and uh, there were some open vulnerability uh, that uh, actually injection attack and all those things are uh, present there. So all those been fixed in TLS 1.3. How? Basically, uh, we removed uh, TLS 1.3, dropped the support of weak cipher and all those things. Also uh, encrypt the handshake part of it so we give you better uh, confidentiality or security and at the same time uh, it introduce it has some enhancement like uh, zero rtt session resumption and one rtt uh, handshake which we will discuss uh, a little later in the blog okay uh, what i want you to focus is on uh, handshake so just like any other uh, application layer protocol or transport layer protocol this also goes through the handshake um, like tcp you know tcp tcp has a three way handshake here we have four phase exchange and uh, the, it relies on public private key pair that is rsa key pair infrastructure and also diffie hellman uh, so let's look at the exchanges All right so in nutshell before it start transmitting data uh, or encapsulating data tls user generate six type of key and uh, a pair of key for encryption in both way uh, one pair for uh, 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 hmac um, integrity check hmac and one pair as an initialization vector which give you a freshness uh, or a um, mitigate replay attacks basically so here you can see client device server device so client device may be at a home uh, laptop server is a banking site client start with sending hello and saying that these are the things I support. I also send my uh, 
initialization vector i sign it sign the message using my private key and a, uh, a key server in turn actually look out, uh, look at those cipher suites and um, select something uh, which is more reasonable uh, supported from uh, server at that point of time and then also provide its key and its certificate client in turn validate certificate and when client server send certificate out to the client it also send finish so basically we are trying to speed up the protocol client on receiving the certificate it validate that yes this is the server i want to uh, reach and then it start http exchange so in this you do you are seeing that only server is validating to client but client is not but in some scenarios if required client can also validate to the server but on web generally only server validate to um, the client all right so these are like sub uh, things supported hmac sha 256 uh, new ciphers um, so weak cipher support and everything is dropped and the performance of performance increase how it has introduced two more parameters one is one rttp uh, one rtt round trip time mode that means client send everything in one packet and uh, and you get a response back from server and then the second packet you start getting http so that means within one rtt you are making sure that your exchange uh, connection is through which is like uh, enhancement when compared to the regular uh, exchange where you take two to three run, round trip and then uh, within a station resumption zero rtt that mean it is it is actually based on some assumption and some flags so uh, while making handshake they also give the session a session id and you can, client can use that session id in future uh, to send packets saying that this is my session id and i want to talk to you and if ser server recognize that uh, session id it actually uh, sent you the http get response so there is no handshake needed at all all right now what we are going to do we are going to capture uh, wireshark ca uh, uh, capture of tls traffic and i am go also going to decode or capture the encryption keys so that we can uh, follow along uh, the handshake right so how we can capture the keys basically i have to set uh, uh, session keys i have to log my session keys and this is a very nice write-up i'll send you the link uh, i'll put this link in uh, uh, description uh, here i'm using mac so this is how you can capture session keys in your mac and what i'm going to do i'm going to now capture uh, open a wireshark so i have Wireshark open here and then I'm going to start capture okay Wireshark is capturing packet and it is it has got busy so what I'm going to do um, I'm going to set the SSL key that this is the place where I want to keep my SSL key all right so SSL key environment and let me stop this for now otherwise we will have too much logs okay so you can see set the ssl log key from the terminal and i have to change the username um, to my user all right, so I'm going to PWD. Okay, then what are you going to do? We are going to launch OSX terminal, uh, start Firefox, and you can start packet capture. Now we can start packet capture again. Continue without saving, yes, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to open open application. So I'll 
go to this place and then I am launching a Firefox okay so you can see in background I have Firefox launched and not now here we are going to go to a website um, I would like to go to ssllabs.com most of the browser they support as a uh, TLS 1.3 and if you come here actually you can do some cool stuff that means you can test your browser right I want to test my browser if it supports TLS 1.3 and you can see that this is actually running a scan on my browser and you are isn't as a good protocol support all those things you can see TLS 1.3 is yes so I think we have captured good amount of data here uh, and because we spent time uh, on this tab and it has a lot of HTTP exchanges. So we are good to go back and stop our protocol, um, wire tra transfer, uh, wire shark transfers, right? And you can see a lot of HTTP data. If I try to filter it with TLS, unfortunately there is no easy filter for TLS 1.3. If I try to filter with TLS, it is actually going to show me TLS 1.2 and 1.3 together. But we are interested in 1.3. So let me scroll through it. And here you can see TLS 1.3. We have a lot of application data. I want to first look at the client hello yes so client hello from here we can actually follow the conversation right so my wireshark can follow the conversation here okay or let me delete this and apply another filter say frame contents SSL lab because that is the site we are interested in. Yes, you can see I have these client hellos and server hellos. Um, if we sort it with TLS, okay. Client hello, and this is the IP address 6441 uh, 200 200. That is the place SSL lab is, but I am interested in also seeing client hellos and server hellos but why server hellos are not here showing up here let me say follow TCP stream okay and I'm going to close this okay yes very nice sorry so I was following the wrong stream you can see so this is our uh, SSL lab and TLS client hello then we have server hello back and then application data look at the application data TLS security HTTP um, application data and a lot of other application data right at the same time we were capturing the SSL keys so if I apply those SSL keys here then what happens let's see I'm gonna go to preferences let me bring it here and I'll go to protocol if I type TLS TLS and select your protocol TLS protocol and it is asking me pre master lock key and this is the place where all my pre master or the SSL keys are logged right if I show you this part okay and that's why all my data are already getting decoded if you want to see the keys all right so this is the place we are following all our TLS exchanges and let's look at the client hello first you can see TLS it's a handshake handshake protocol client hello and you can see it's sending a random nouns random value then cipher suits 18 cipher supported you can look at the list of uh, cipher supported and all those things then what do you happen you get a server hello back within server hello 
you can see this is server hello and uh, uh, cipher suits has chosen by server this is aes 122 uh, 128 and G gcm sha so this is uh, server is proposing and it has been chosen and then you have the third packet where it's actually started doing http request http over tls and then we have application data all right so this is how tls works and uh, this, uh, i have shown you how to capture tls session uh, keys locally at your laptop and apply those keys to decode tls traffic i hope uh, you found this uh, useful and you were able to follow uh, thank you so much for watching